Today I am at Emmitsburg Antique Mall. I'm kind of excited. I have not been here in a few weeks. So I'm going to head in now and see what I can find that I can flip for a profit or maybe buy for myself. I've been buying for myself a little more than I should be lately. But you know, Christmas is coming. Here we go. Well, it looks like we're all ready for Christmas here in this booth. So beautiful decanter we looked at the last time. Ooh, a Fostoria heirloom. Oh, and it's got the original sticker. This is actually really pretty back here. Brins of Japan. This is nice. I like the glaze on that. Oh wow, look at this. I do like this candlestick holder, $18. That's great. I love the fake snow on this. It's pretty vintage looking. 18. Decisions, decisions. <laughs> I feel like I could get 40 for that, so that's why I'm tempted. Right now, I mean, I don't think any other time of year I could get 40 for it, but I feel like right now with Christmas, I could probably get $40 for that. So I might grab this piece. I, I don't think I've ever purchased anything out of this booth before, but I'm really, really digging this. So I think I'm going to grab this. Now we do have this piece over here and I feel like I need to clarify on this one. Um, this is badass glass and the last time we were here I assumed that this was Chinese glass but apparently it is not Chinese glass. So in the last video I do believe that I said it was Chinese but um, somebody actually brought it to my attention that this is not in fact Chinese glass. So usually the, there's a lot of Chinese glass that has this lucite base and so when I saw that I made an assumption that I probably shouldn't have but it is a really nice glass shell. I like it, but for 40 bucks, I don't think that I can make any money on it, so. All right, well, we've got our first item of the day. So I don't often come into this booth, but this caught my eye. I found this to be interesting. I kinda like the faces on this. $22. I don't know if I could spend even two on it. But it is really curious. Those faces. Phelps. 2004. I really like that mug. That is something. That is an interesting piece. Kind of like this fish. Sixty-eight dollars for the folk art fish. I mean, it is really super cool. But I think that's probably right on point. Oh, I like it. I like it, but I can't. Ooh, what are those? What are those? Wowzers! Those are stoppers. Those are like massive stoppers. Crazy. this way. This is the same route we always take. I thought about mixing it up today, but I decided against it. <laughs> so here we are. This booth smells really good. I thought at first this was Fostoria coin glass, but I've never seen it like that before. Interesting. That lid makes me a little scared. I not really want to fit on there, so I'm just going to set it there. Oh, well, the Poppycock Emporium is ready for Christmas as well. Look at all the Santas. 
last time we were in here, we got a really neat West Germany teapot or maybe even a coffee pot set. It was actually really cool. I can't remember which one it was. Large pottery bowl. I like that. These are fun too. I'm going to mark this on those. Oh, I do like that. Kind of a primitive looking piece. John, 1955. I do like that piece. Just the simplicity of it, I think, is what I like. Vivian Pottery, $30 for this set of three. I don't think I've ever seen pottery like this before. I like that. That's one thing I like about coming here to the antique shops is I see new things and I learn new things. So I don't think I've seen that before. Ooh, the shelf of art glass. <laughs> We looked at this the last time we were here. A little bit of deja vu. <laughs> did we look at this one as well? I think we did. Maybe. Oh yes, yes. There was a little bit of boo boo there. Looks like they reduced the price. Thirteen. I may be willing to do it at 13 because I do love that color combination, the amber and the green and the way it mixes. I think I'll do 13 on that. This little Anna Lee here is absolutely adorable. Six dollars. <laughs> A little cat and mouse friend. They're not trying to eat each other. Well, I mean, really, the cat would be doing most of the eating, but they're really cute. And then a panda over here for only $8. Oh, I don't need any more Annalise. I'm going to pass. All right. Right there, I've spotted some butterfly wing earrings. And check the price on those. Ten dollars. So these are made out of butterfly wings. They are screw back earrings. The palm trees are kind of the more common design. So I think that's probably about what they're worth. I have in the past found one that had a Dutch scene on it and that was a pin. We ended up giving that to Andrew's mom for Christmas. I kind of like that piece. That looks like it's got some age to it. Vintage cameo pin. That's pretty. Can't pay 25 for it though, unless it was gold, but I doubt it. <laughs> Alright, so this is the booth where the last time we got some really nice cow creamers. I've decided to look down in here today, and I think we did look a little bit down here the last time at that <laughs> beautiful decanter. But I wanted to see what else they had in here as far as smalls go. I do like that mesh purse back there, and I kind of almost wonder if it's Whiting and Davis. It's very fancy. I also like that little blue dish, the way it's swirled like that. And it's got the, the silver overlay on it. It looks like a scene of some sort. So it might be worth asking for a key to get into this case. But I'm going to check the other cases first and see if there's any others that I want to get into. Alright, so I actually recognize this set back here, this kind of kidney-shaped set as being Denmark. And actually the tag says Denmark. I think it says $12 for the set there. It's two little candle holders and the dish. 
It's very mid-century modern, meaning that it has very clean lines. I think I might grab that for 12 and the booth is 20% off. This dog right here looks promising. Um, I come across a lot of little dogs and critters and stuff that are usually pretty sloppy, but there seems to be a quality about this one. The way his eyes are done and the tongue hanging out, the collar around his neck. I really like this dog, so I think I'm gonna grab this dog. That one's just kind of adorable. <laughs> And this one over here, you can see this one's just like not as impressive as that one back there. Can't even get it to focus, but um, I think I'm gonna go get a key. And maybe, oh, look at that back there. Look at that horse, that maroon horse. Hmm. Can't tell from here, but that might be Shawnee. That sells for about 18 bucks. So this is everything that I am taking out of the cases. I've got this little guy for $2. I ended up grabbing the buffalo. He does have a little bit of condition issues, but for two bucks, I'll take him. Oh, nice. Bone China. I took the whole dog family, even though I said I was gonna leave him. I just couldn't bring myself to leave him behind. <laughs> and this purse is Whiting and Davis. And it's $8, 20% off. There are a few condition issues, but it's Whiting and Davis, so I grabbed it. There you have it. Oh, and the little fetish, because he's cute. Okay. Got some Hager Earth Wrap here. $16. Mm. I've bought and sold the Earth Wrap before, but one of the pieces I'm really looking for is the green Hager Earth Wrap. I would love to find that. Well, this booth always has the best cat stuff, and I just discovered this cat. And I'm kind of digging it. <laughs> it is $12, and I do not believe that there is a discount in this booth. But I like the fact that the fish is inside of the cat, which is a little bit morbid, I know. Um, <laughs> but I like it. A nice piece of art glass. Well, the bottom is cloudy, so I do not suspect that it is Murano. However, I know there are Murano pieces that, that do look like this, um, and I believe so. It was modeled after Murano. It is not, probably not Murano, but I like it. Spotted another cat. A climbing cat. Wall pity. $20, Japan. I recall whenever Jeffrey found one of these and it was Kamark, and they sell for like $200. It's absolutely insane. Um, this one is 20. I don't know how much these ones sell for actually. I kinda like, I kinda like him. He's kinda cute. Hang him on the wall. You could hang out with the other kitty. He's just turning into a kitty kinda day. And now we've got Santa in here. Santa Punch Eggnog Bowl with Ladle and Santa Cups, 175 That is great. I'm really digging that. The last time I was here, these two little pink canisters actually caught my eye. Um, they're asking $8 each for these. I did just kind of duck down and check out the bottom, and the bottom does say Made in Italy. You guys know I'm a sucker for Italian pottery. But I just think they're great, and they're so fun and girly. I mean, let's be honest, they're kind of girly. Um, they're perfect for the vanity. For eight bucks, I think I'm gonna grab those. I've just never seen them before, and they caught my eye the last time, they caught my eye again. I think I'm gonna ask for a key to get in here. Today's the day. I'm being needy. I was just walking by and noticed this whole crocheted caroler family, and it is just absolutely darling. Look at a little puppy dog. Ah! <laughs> I love it. I think it's spectacular. So the last time I was here at Emmitsburg, uh, one of my regular commenters, Sam, actually mm, brought up this piece that I had passed over and um, was very excited about it and couldn't believe that I left it behind. And I was actually surprised that it was still here, actually. Um, but it is $24. It is half off. 
And so I am going to grab this piece, but I'll have to decipher that mark or go back and look at the comments that Sam left on that video. So there you go. What do we have here? Love paperweight needs new pen. That is pretty cute. And over here, can do like that art pottery piece. Of course, I love the bank. Love the bank. So this folk art piece definitely caught my eye. I love that they're wearing little wooden shoes. Now this is priced at $8, and I think I'm gonna grab this. It's very folk art, and I love that they're dancing in wooden shoes. I think it's just, I mean, what more can you say about it? Eight bucks, I think I'll grab that. And carved and painted shorebird, Maine signed. Deerdorf, 1991, Maine. I do kind of like that. He is adorable and in pretty good condition. So it's only $14 and I think I might grab this guy because I like it. I mean, I mean aesthetically, I think he could use a few more shells down there, but he's nice. I like him. I like him. I'll take him. All right, so I have moved into... One of the vintage booths here that I really like. And I'm noticing a few things that I don't think were here the last time, or if they were, I totally missed them. Um, maybe we did look at this, I can't remember. This back here is under $18. May 2nd, 1948, mid century art glass vase. Oh, making me nervous. Let's get you out of there. <laughs> Oh, please don't slam. <laughs> My goodness, that was scary. Okay. Um, is it marked somewhere? Oh, no, that's the date of the picture that they used for the tag. Okay, I see now. I do kind of like this piece. I like the little bit, bits of color in there, and I like the shape of it. Now, it is $18. And I think I could do 18 on that just because I really like it. It kind of reminds me of Polish glass. I'm not sure if it is Polish, but it reminds me of Polish glass. So I'm going to stick that out here next to our basket. I'm going to dig in this perfume here. The iridescent. How much is it? $49. It is 20% off. But I don't know if I can do that. Okay, we're done. <laughs> Our total spend there today was $200. I feel like we got some really great things today for $200. I'm kind of excited for that little sugar bowl. I don't know what to expect from that. I can't even remember what was so special about it, but that's what it's so exciting about. <laughs> so anyway, we got some good pieces today, um, especially out of those cases. I think that those are going to do well as well. Well well as well yeah um from here i'm going to head to goodwill but you guys are gonna have to wait until tomorrow for that video and i will see all of you then later